O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me for the sake of your most pure mother and of all the saints. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, present in all places, filling all things, treasury of good things, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham. O come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, and in sin did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom thou hast manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit unto me. The joy of thy salvation and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn their back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I'd have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then thou shalt be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. O God, be attentive unto helping me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils against me. Let them be turned back straightway in shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. Let them be glad and rejoice in thee, all that seek after thee. O God, and let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But as for me, I am poor and needy. O God, come unto mine aid. My helper and my deliverer art thou, O Lord. Make no long tarrying. O Lord, hear my prayer. 
Give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me is become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord. My spirit had fainteth away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy namesake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring forth my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks unto thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O thou who takest away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer, O thou who sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in all generations. I said, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, I have fled unto thee. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life. In thy light shall we see light. O continue thy loving kindness unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be thy name forever. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we do put our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the work of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. It is truly meet to bless the O Theotokos, who art ever blessed and all blameless and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. 
Bikavu. I shall open my mouth and it will be filled with the Spirit and I shall speak forth to the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen joyfully singing her praises and I shall delight to sing of her wonder. Most holy Theotokos, save us. When the great archangel saw thee, O Immaculate One, thou living book of Christ, sealed by the Spirit, he cried out unto thee, Hail, vessel of gladness, through whom the curse of our first mother is loosed. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Hail, virgin bride of God, thou uplifter of Adam and death knell of Hades. Hail, O all blameless one, thou palace of the only King. Hail, thou fiery throne, of the Almighty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail thou from whom alone did blossom the unwithering rose. Hail thou who did spare the fragrant apple. Hail immaculate maiden, fragrance of the King of all, and salvation of the world, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hail thou treasure house of purity, through which we rose up from our fall. Hail lady sweet-scented lily, perfuming the faith, thou fragrant incense, and most precious mure. As a living and copious fountain, O Theotokos, do thou strengthen those who hymn thy <clears throat> praises, and are joined together in a spiritual company for thy service, and in thy divine glory. Make them worthy of crowns of glory. Ayatul Alfaik Khudzua, Walidat al Ila Khalisina. As a clear and untilled field, thou didst make the divine ear of grain to sprout. Hail thou living table that held the breath of life. Hail thou unfailing fountain of living water. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Hail, O mystic heifer that did bear the spotless calf. Hail, you lamb who did conceive the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the whole world. Hail, thou fervent intercessor. <laughs> Hail, O radiant dawn, who alone did bear Christ the Son, the dwelling place of light. Hail, thou who didst dispel the darkness and reduce to naught the demons of gloom. <laughs> Hail, thou only gate, through which the word alone did pass. Hail, Lady, for by the rebirth giving, bars and gates of Hades were burst asunder. Hail, thou most worthy of praise, divine entry for the saved. He who sits in clouds of glory upon the throne of the Godhead Jesus, the Most High God, came with mighty hand and saved those who cried out unto him, Glory to thy power, O Christ. Most holy Theotokos, save us. In hymns of faith, 
O all praised one, we cry out unto thee. Hail thou mountain fertile with the fullness of the Spirit. Hail thou lamp of light and vase of manna to the senses of the reverent most sweet. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Hail, Immaculate Lady, mercy seat of the world. Hail, Thou latter which raised all from earth to grace. Hail, Thou bridge which truly leads from death to life. All who sing Thy praises. Hail, O Immaculate One, higher than the heaven. Thou who didst without pain carry within thee the fountain of the earth. Hail, O seashell, thou didst dip in thy blood the divine purple for the king of the powers of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, Lady, who did truly bear the lawgiver that freely blotted out the transgressions of all. O unimaginable depth, O height ineffable, O maiden unwedded, through whom we are become divine. With hymns we praise thee, O thou who didst weave for the world a crown not woven by hands, and we cry aloud, Hail, O Virgin, fortress of all mankind, and rampart and strength and refuge divine. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. For thou, o unwedded virgin, did hold within thee the God of all, and did bear the eternal Son, who rewards with salvation all who him thy praises. Hail, O all blameless one, who didst bear the way of life and save the world from the deluge of sin. Hail, Bride of God, thou of great report and mighty fame. Hail, thou dwelling place of the Master of creation. <laughs> Hail, O Immaculate One, stronghold and fortress of mankind, and place of hallowed glory, death knell of Hades, bridal chamber full of light. Hail, joy of the angels, hail, help of those who faithfully pray unto Thee. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Hail, O Lady, fiery chariot of the Word, living paradise, having the Lord, the tree of life in thy midst. His sweetness gives to those who partake in faith, even though they may be subject to corruption. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Strengthened by thy might, faithfully we cry unto thee. Hail, city of the King of all, great in glory and repute, of whom all these were clearly spoken, O mount unhewn in depth beyond all measure. Both now and ever, none to ages of ages. Amen. Thou spacious tabernacle of the word, Hail, O Immaculate One, thou seashell, which did proffer the divine pearl. Hail, O all wondrous One, thou art the reconciliation to God. O Theotokos, of all who forever bless thee.
as we the godly minded celebrate this sacred and all honorable feast of the mother of god come let us clap our hands together and glorify the God whom she bore. Immaculate bridal chamber of the word, an aid to the sanctification of us all. Hail, O oh, oh, pure maiden, whom the prophets did proclaim. Hail thou ornament of the apostles. Most holy Theotoko, save us from thee, the Judas will that quench the flame of polytheism. Wherefore we cry out unto thee, O Virgin, hail, O dewy fleece, which Gideon did foresee. Al-Majdu lillabi wal-ibni wa ruh al-Qudus. Behold, we cry out unto thee, Hail be our, thou our haven and our port. When we voyage on the sea of tribulation, and through the snares of the adversary, وَلَا نَوْ كُلَّ وَانٍ وَإِلَى ذَهْرِ الدَّهِرِينَ آمِينَ O cause of joy, favor us with reason to cry out unto thee. Hail thou bush that burns, yet unconsumed, thou light-filled cloud, which unceasingly shelters the faithful. The godly-minded children worship not the creature rather than the Creator, but trampling upon the threat of fire in manly fashion, they rejoiced and sang, O oh, all praise, Lord, and God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Ipero fia teo toque sos onimas. To thee we sing a hymn and cry. Hail, chariot of the mystic sun, true vine that did produce the ripe clusters of grapes, dripping wine to gladden the souls of those who faith do glorify thee. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Hail thou bride of God, who did bear the healer of mankind, the mystic staff from which blossomed the unfading flower. Hail, O sovereign lady, through whom we are filled with joy, and made inheritors of life. Most holy Theotoko, save us. The tongue of eloquence has not the power to sing thy praises, O sovereign lady. For thou wast exalted above the seraphim when thou didst bear Christ the King. Do thou now implore him to deliver from all harm those who faithfully reverence thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The ends of the earth to praise and bless thee, and cry out unto thee. Hail, pure maiden scroll, on which the finger of God did inscribe his word. Do thou now implore him, O Theotokos, to write down thy servants in the book of life. We thy servants bend the knee of our hearts and implore thee, O pure maiden, incline thine ear and save us who are engulfed in tribulation and guard thy city. O Theotokos, from every assault of her enemies.
the three holy children in the furnace, the child of the Theotokos saved. Then was the type, now is its fulfillment, and the whole world gathers to sing. All ye works, praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. <laughs> Thou didst receive the word within thee, O pure maiden, and didst bear him who beareth all things. Thou didst nourish him with milk, who by his nod does sustain all the universe. To him we sing, all ye works praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Moses perceived in the burning bush the great mystery of thy birth giving. O chaste and holy virgin, the children prefigured this most clearly when they stood in the midst of the flame and were unburned. Wherefore we praise thee unto all ages. O pero fie teotoke so sonimas. Moses perceived in the burning bush the great mystery of thy birth giving. O chaste and holy virgin, the children prefigured this most clearly when they stood in the midst of the fire and were unburned. Wherefore we praise thee unto all ages. Most holy Theotoko, save us. We who of old were made naked <clears throat> by deceit, have been clothed in a garment of incorruption by thy conception. And we who were sitting in the darkness of transgressions, have come to see the light, O maiden, who art the dwelling place of light, wherefore we praise thee unto all ages. <laughs> Through thee the dead are made to live, for thou didst spare the life essential. Those who before were speechless now find useful eloquence. Lepers are cleansed, diseases are driven away, and the multitude of airy spirits are vanquished, O Virgin, salvation of mortals, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We hail thee, O all blameless one, who didst bring forth salvation for the world, through which we have been raised from earth to heights above. O pure maiden, thou art the shelter and the stronghold, bulwark and fortress of all who sing. All ye works praise the Lord and magnify him unto all ages. Let all earth-born mortals rejoice in spirit, bearing their lamps, and let the nature of bodiless minds celebrate with honor the holy festival of the Mother of God, and cry out, Hail, O blessed, pure, and ever-virgin Theotokos. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Through thee, O maiden, have we faithfully become partakers of joy, so that we may further cry out unto thee, Hail, do thou deliver us from perpetual temptation, from barbaric attack, and from all the multitude of evil, which we mortals suffer 
for the number of our sin. Ayatul Fay Kudsuha, Walidatil Ila Khalisina. Thou hast appeared to enlighten us and be our confirmation. Wherefore we cry out unto thee, Hail, O unsetting star, which did introduce into the world the mighty sun. Hail, pure maiden, who didst open fast closed Eden. Hail, fiery pillar, which doth lead man's nature to the life above. Ipero fiete o toque so sonimas. Let us stand with reverence in the house of our God, and let us cry aloud, Hail, Mistress of the world, Hail, Mary, Lady of all, Hail, Thou, who alone art blameless among women. O beautiful, hail, O vessel, which did receive into thyself the myrrh which never before outpoured. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Hail, O ever-Virgin, thou dove didst appear, and bring forth him who is merciful. Hail, boast of all the righteous saints, and crowns of those who strive. Hail, ornament divine of all the just, and of all the faithful, our salvation as well. Lana kullawanin wa ila dhahrid dhahirin ameen. Spare, O God, thine inheritance, and overlook now all our sins. For as intercessors in thy sight, O Christ, thou stands before thee. She that on earth conceived thee, without sin, when in thy great mercy thou hast willed to be shaped in a form that was not thine own. Inni ana abduki ya walidah Ila Ektub laki Rayatil Ghalabat Ya Jundiya Tanwa Hamiya Wa Hu Qaddimu laki Shukra Kamun Qidan Mean <laughs> Men so no fisher the in Thou, O Virgin Theotokos, art a protecting wall to virgins and to all who run to thee. For the Maker of heaven and earth prepared thee, O pure maiden, and dwelt in thy womb, 
and taught all to sing out unto thee. Hail, pillar of virginity, hail, gate of salvation, hail, source of spiritual reformation, hail, leader of divine goodness, hail, for thou didst regenerate those conceived in sin, hail, for thou didst remind those who were mindless, hail, thou who didst annul the corruption of hearts, hail, thou who didst bear the sore of chastity, hail, bridal chamber of a virgin marriage, Hail thou who joins the faithful to the Lord. Hail fair nursing mother of virgins. Hail bridesmaid of holy souls. Hail, O bride, without bridegroom. <speaking in Hebrew> لا عرو Unworthy is every hymn that seeks to encompass the multitude of thy many mercies. For if we should offer to thee hymns of praise as numberless as the sands, O holy King, we should still have done nothing worthy of that which thou hast given to us who cry out unto thee. Alleluia. Oh. Virgin, as a light giving beacon, shining for those in darkness, for by kindling the supernal light, she guides us all to divine knowledge, illumining our minds with radiance. She is honored by this our cry. Hail, ray of the living sun, hail, flash of unfading splendor, hail, lightning flash shining upon our souls, hail, thou who dost as thunder strike down our enemies. Hail, for thou didst cause the many-eyed, many-starred light to dawn. Hail, for thou didst cause the richly flowing river to gush forth. Hail, thou who dost from the life describe the type of the baptismal font. Hail, thou who didst take away the stain of sin. Hail, laver that dost purify conscience. Hail, mixing bowl for the mingling of joy. Hail, fragrance of the sweetness of Christ. Hail, life of mystic festival. Hail, O bride without bridegroom. Hail, O bride without bridegroom. When he who pays the ancient debts of all men was minded to give grace, he came of his own will to dwell among those who had departed from his grace. And when he tore asunder the written charge against them, he heard from all in this wise, Alleluia.
Yet while we sing to him whom thou didst bear, we all him thee, O Theotokos, as a living temple for the Lord who holds all things in his hand, by dwelling within thee, hallowed and glorified thee, and taught all to cry out unto thee. Hail, tabernacle of God and of the word, hail, holiest of all the holy ones, Hail, ark made golden by the Spirit. Hail, an inexhaustible treasury of life. Hail, precious diadem of pious rulers. Hail, venerable boast of reverend priests. Hail, steady tower of the church. Hail, impregnable wall of the realm. Hail, thou through whom trophies are set up. Hail, thou through whom enemies are cast down. Hail, healing of my body. Hail, salvation of my soul. Hail, O bride, without bridegroom. <laughs> Zealously art thou praised, O Mother, who did bear the most holy word of all the saints. When thou receivest this present offering, deliver us from every calamity, and deliver from all wrath to come those who cry out unto thee. Alleluia. Mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, the author of creation, the universe that offer God-bearing martyrs as the fruits of thy nature, by whose prayers through the Theotokos do preserve in peace Profound thy church, O most merciful one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison. Kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison. Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm. Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm, Ya Rabbu Rahm. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Christ our God, who art worshipped and glorified at all times, at every hour in both heaven and on earth, who art long suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who lovest the just man and show us mercy upon the sinner who call us all men to repentance through the promise of blessings to come. Receive, O Lord, at this very hour our supplication and direct our lives in the way of thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds aright, cleanse our thoughts, deliver us from all affliction, trouble, and dis distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by them, we may attain unto the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art ever blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without corruption bearest God the word and are truly Theotokos, we magnify thee, bless Father, in the name of the Lord. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May he shine the light of his countenance upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison, kiria leison. Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham, Ya Rabbu Rham. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O Lady, Bride of God, spotless, blameless, pure, and immaculate Virgin, thou who without corruption by thy glorious birth giving has united God the Word to man and joined the fallen nature of our race to heavenly things, who alone are the hope of the hopeless, the help of those who do battle, the ready help of those who flee to thee, and the refuge of all Christians. Despise me not an accursed sinner, Though I have rendered myself unworthy by my shameful thoughts, words, and deeds, and through indolence have become a slave to the pleasures of life, but as the mother of God who loves mankind, mercifully have compassion on me, a sinner and a prodigal, and receive my prayer, though it be offered unto thee by unworthy lips, and using thy boldness as a mother, importune thy son, our Lord and Master, that he may open to me also the tender compassions of his goodness, so as to overlook my numberless transgressions and turn me to repentance and show me forth as a zealous doer of his commandments. And because thou art merciful, compassionate, and benevolent, be thou ever near me in this present life as an ardent help and protection, defending me from the assaults of adversaries and leading me to salvation. And at the time of my departure from this life, care for my miserable soul, and drive far from it the dark visions of evil demons, and in the fearful day of judgment, deliver me from eternal punishment, and present me as an inheritor of the ineffable glory of thy Son, our God. May this be my lot, O Lady Most Holy Theotokos, through thy mediation and help, 
through the grace and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, to whom are due all glory, honor, and worship, with his unoriginate Father and his all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And grant us, O Master, when we depart to sleep, repose of body and soul and protect us from the murky sleep of sin and from all the dark pleasures of the night. Calm the impulses of the passions and quench the fiery darts of evil which are craftily thrown against us. Check the turbulence of our flesh and still all earthly and material thoughts and grant us, O God, a watchful mind, a prudent reason, a vigilant heart, a tranquil sleep, free from all the fantasies of Satan. Raise us up again at the time of prayer, strengthened in thy commandments, holding steadfastly within us the remembrance of thy judgments. Grant us grace to glorify thee all through the night, that we may praise and bless and glorify thine all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most glorious ever virgin and blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son, our God, and intercede with him that through thee he may save our souls. The Father is my hope, the Son is my refuge, the Holy Spirit is my protection. O Holy Trinity, glory to thee. In thee, O Mother of God, I place all my hope. Keep me under thy protection. O Holy Angel, who accompanies my wretched soul and lowly life, forsake me not and depart not from me because of my extravagance and wickedness. Give not access to the evil demon to rule with his might this mortal body of mine, but hold me by my wretched feeble hand. Lead me in the path of salvation. Yes, O holy angel of God, guardian and protector of my wretched soul and body, forgive me all wherewith I have heretofore saddened thee all the days of my life. And though this day I have sinned, be thou my shelter this night. Keep me from all the wiles of the enemy, that I may not anger God with any sin. Intercede with the Lord for me, that he may confirm me in his fear, and show me forth as a worthy servant, of his goodness. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father bless. May Christ our true God through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, at the supplication of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs of our venerable and God-bearing fathers of the holy apostle, Philip, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loving mankind. Amen. O God, be gracious to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Forgive me, a sinner. God, forgive thee, Holy Father. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. And for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. And for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Nicholas, and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy. And for the civil authorities of this land. Lord, have mercy. And for the welfare of our armed forces. Lord, have mercy. And for our fathers and brethren absent from among us. Lord, have mercy. And for those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. And for those who are kind to us and minister to us. Lord, have mercy. And for those who have requested our prayers, unworthy though we be. Lord, have mercy. And for the deliverance of captives. Lord, have mercy. And for travelers by land sea and air lord have mercy and for those who lie in sickness lord have mercy and let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth lord have mercy and for the soul of every orthodox christian lord have mercy let us bless god fearing leaders orthodox bishops the founders of this holy church <clears throat> and our parents and teachers and all our fathers and brethren gone before us the orthodox who here and everywhere lie asleep in the lord lord have mercy and let us also say, 
for ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ is in our midst. He is and always shall be. Brothers and sisters, we have finished our fourth Akathist service of the uh, Lenten period. And it's been a very memorable year, uh, I'm sure, for, for everybody. And I wanted to just comment on that briefly. A couple days ago, we celebrated the Feast of the Annunciation, and we continue that theme with the Akathist service. And this background of the Akathist service is the Feast of the Annunciation, just as the angel Gabriel went to Mary at that special day and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. So we have that refrain, Hail, throughout this whole Akathist service, this greeting to Mary. And as I mentioned last time, a couple of days ago, that one of the reasons, perhaps the central reason that we honor Mary is because she is the model Christian for all of us. And a corollary to that, what I'd like to mention tonight is, that means that everything that Mary is, or everything that we honor Mary for, all the ways that she is a model for us, we can do also. She is not separate from us. She is one of us. She is a human being like us. So everything that we see Mary do, we are called to as well. The way her compassion overflows to us, the way she has given herself to Christ as his servant. We also imitate her in that way. And so on this day, it just brings to mind so many things that I'm thankful for, seeing so many people serving the Lord and imitating the mother of God by the way they offer themselves. In our own worshiping community, I want to thank Richard, who has been here with all the Akathis services uh, and sung with me. And it's a beautiful uh, blessing that we can sing together. And for Lisa and Terry, who have been coming in to sing the divine liturgies that we've been having. And to all our servers, uh, the couple servers at a time that have been coming in and serving. And this is a great blessing. But beyond them being an example of worshipers and servers, I just want to also make mention, I am overwhelmed by the love and compassion, really silently, that so many people are offering right now between our doctors and healthcare workers, all those who are working at the hospitals, going in every day and seeing the news around the country, especially in certain areas such as New York City, these people are offering themselves for us. Not only the healthcare professionals and researchers, um, but also the police, the fire department, uh, grocery workers, uh, pharmacists, <clears throat> delivery drivers, all these people are working so that others can stay inside and stay in a place of safety. It reminds <clears throat> me of the words of the Lord, of the Lord, greater love has no one than that they give their life for their friends. And so, some of these people are Christians that are doing this. And some of these people might not see themselves as Christians at all. But they are imitating the love of the Lord. They are imitating the Theotokos who offered herself to Christ. As they offer themselves for all of us, we owe them a great debt of thanks and need to keep them in our prayers and trust that the Lord is watching over all of us 
and all of them for their love and their sacrifice for all of us. Let us offer a prayer for them right now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh Lord, we thank you for all of those who are sharing their love for your people by caring for them in so many and diverse ways. Bless the minds and the hands of the physicians, the healthcare workers, the medical researchers. Bless our civil authorities with wisdom and humility to be guided correctly. Bless those who are in essential services that help us continue to be able to take care of ourselves and stay healthy and protected. Watch over all your people, all those who come and worship and serve and sing in the church, as well as all those who are worshiping at home, our families, and especially our children. Bless us all, Lord. Help us to remember and know how much you love us. Give us strength to make wise and healthy decisions so that soon at the proper time we may once again gather together in this holy temple, glorifying your holy name in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is and always shall be. And uh, while we're here and while I have your attention, I'd like to mention that starting next week, and I'll get this information out to you, we're going to start doing a weekly program for the children. In addition to the kids' sermon that I will continue to do on Sundays, we're going to have a weekly uh, gathering, virtual gathering, and so uh, we're going to start with our kids, with our young, with our young ones. And so, parents, uh, I'll get that information out to you, and uh, so we can have a little bit of time together, and uh, and I can share a few little things with them, and and they can have a little opportunity to have a, a little conversation back and forth as well. So I'll send out information. It'll be on our Facebook, on our web page. Don't forget our webpage is orthodoxfl.com, www.orthodoxfl.com, and you can find everything there. The Lord's blessing and mercy be with you all. Christ is in our midst. He is and always shall be. In In 
nyeri antari luar hata hayat lakin ni kama umirtu arti fu ilaiki ifrahi ya mun tali na'mat of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 